Hello everyone. We have a new netbox release. And with that, I see a lot of people struggling with the upgrading process. Especially when they use custom plugins. Like in this scenario, the Napalm plugin. And the QR code, for example. In my environment, I am in a box 3.6.9 using the QR code plugin and that box Napalm plugin. So, upgrade. First, you need to check every repository. I see that box Napalm and QR code, box QR code to see if they already support that version. So, for Netbox Napalm, you can see that as three hours ago, it was added support for 3.7. And the Netbox care code that it doesn't, doesn't have any updates in the repository, but still probably not gonna work. In this upgrade process, I probably I'm gonna make it very first to show the errors that can happen and what to do when the errors happen. And then we move on for making it work. Now, for every repository that you have the plugin, you can add and watch to see animations and anything that happens to the repository that we're going to be alerted by email or, or anything when it has upgraded process. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, in my slash shop, I have the netbox folder, the C link. In 3.6.9, and I already downloaded the tile from the next version, 3.7, and created the fold extracted. But let's do it again. Now, whenever you want to upgrade any, any software, it's a good practice to make a backup as an app, shut up the VM or whatever, whatever you want. In this case, I is not going to make the backup just for the upgrade process. Well, first, I think I tell, stop a kill. Let's stop both. Netbox and Netbox RQ. And let's follow the upgrade process. My new version is 3.7.0. Oh, 3.7.0. Eh? As you can see, the ceiling moved from 369 to 37. Now let's make our own version. 369. Okay. Okay. And that's basically everything you need to do following the documentation. Now let's give a deeper look into the plugin part. We go into Netbox folder. You have the base requirements. Requirements here. That's when you have everything that Netbox needs for it. But it's you, so all Netbox 
methods and have local requirements. In local requirements, usually you, you can do point the plugin to a specific version of that. You only you do that when you are moving from different versions and not every plugin version supports every netbox version. It's usually you need to pinpoint it. Oh, okay. Next step. In my environment, I have Python 3.8 and 3.10. Well, let's see where is netbox 3.10. Okay, sorry. Deactivate. Okay, here is net Python 3.10, so Python. And let's run the upgrade.sh. Let's see what's happening. Okay. See, in the migration process, you already have an error being traced. Like, that error is tied to the plugin. That's box label. It seems that it goes at maximum to 3.6.99. So, this plugin version doesn't support that box. So, what you can do? In this case, go to netbox, netbox, configuration.py, go in plugins, and just comment that plugin. Or if you prefer a fresh installation, you can comment all your plugins and run the upgrade process without any plugin, let's say, installed. Let's run again the upgrade process. As you can see, starts the migration if everything's okay.
and try it again. Let's restart the service. Here I am at trade off seven. Okay, but do you really want leaf on plugin? So what do you need to do? Let's see Netbox QR code that is it doesn't break into in different versions. See the QR code. It is. But at Pop Form in that version doesn't work in 3.7. So for that, you need to go into the plugin repository. I recommend you to make a watch of it. You can make a custom watch for release. So whenever you release your pull request that repository have, you're gonna receive an alert for that. You're gonna submit an email to see what's going on with the development of the plugin you want. And as you can see, it already has a pull request for 3.7. Eh? So let's make, take a look at IP. And to so it so I have the 017 version, it was released an hour ago. And if you look at local requirements, we installed 016. So let's fix that. First, if you look at here, I'm not inside any Vitro environment. So the first thing we need to activate the Vitro environment. Source, create, bin, activate. Now I'm inside the Vitro environment. And I'm going to install the plugin. So since we've already installed, you need to use the virus U. That upgrade the repository of the plugin module from 6 to 1.7. Now let's go to configuration. Then enable the plugin again. That done. We need to run the migrations and collect static. That's basically the procedure you need to run when you are installed in a plugin. So you pip install. You add in the configuration the plugin session. Add the configurations. Run the migrate process and run collect static. So well, let's do it. I told. Agreed. Okay. At both clip on. Since the plugin doesn't change the database. It's going to tell you that there isn't no migrations to apply, but in some cases the plugin can change the angle need the base. So it's going to have migrations to apply. The next step, you need to collect that. And now you can start our netbox again. To that, you have our plugins working it. So, I mean, everything. Whenever you go run an upgrade process, 
I recommend you to go into configurations that file. Comment every plugin you have. Oh, we go here and comment and comment. Well, the upgrade process as told in the documentation. Then plugin by plugin, enable that plugin. Check if that plugin already have compatibility with your network version. Sometimes the plugin doesn't need an upgrade, so you need to try have each one. That's why I have done it well one by one. Try the plugin installation. If it works, great. Move to the next one. If it doesn't work, comment that plugin and wait a little bit for an update. That's until you complete all their plugins at the station. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Till the next video. Bye.